the theme of this album is based on the end of the world. So every song is um, a spin-off of a different scenario. I don't know exactly where the idea came from, to be honest. I think uh, we wanted to write a theme because we thought it would be easier to come up with the songs. At least I did. Um, and it proved to be a little bit more difficult. Every possible scenario that's out there, we pretty much cover in this entire album, from track 1 to 12. Um, yeah, it's just different scenarios of how the world's going to end. Uh, a lot of people right now believe that is actually happening, so we decided for the next album it was going to be a little bit heavier, a little bit darker, therefore the material had to be a little bit darker, a little bit more realistic, something people can relate to. I thought it was going to be a lot harder writing a theme album than what it has become, which really it's not a theme album, it's just an idea because it's not really telling a complete story, it's just telling different perspectives of one story. I think my favorite song in the album would have to be The Sky's Falling. Um, it has a lot of content in there. I think it wraps up a lot of things um, for a lot of different people. I think a lot of people can identify with that. Uh, plus, it's a good, good fucking song. Oh, my favorite ever song is definitely The Sky is Falling. Definitely. It's, uh, you know what I mean? I think that song has it all. You know what I mean? It's got, it's got the mellow, uh, it's got the mellow melody to it. it. You know what I mean? Just the way that the lyrics go to it, the way that Joe sings it, you know, just everything, you know, just the combination of the whole song. I think that's, if there's going to be a number one hit off that album, I believe that that's what it would be. Definitely looks deserted. I did that in the 70s. Can we see that crack core come up to us and say, hey, y'all need, need a date? Sound wise, I'd have to say, sound wise, my favorite song is Something New. Because that song's more about like rebuilding after everything is, you know, hit the fan. But the song that I can relate to the most would be The Burden because it's about somebody that doesn't want to survive the apocalypse. They want to, uh, they figure if everyone's dying, they might as well die with them because the aftermath isn't going to be enjoyable. I don't, I just want to die, man. I just, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to go through the, the rebuild of, of, of the, of the earth, of the earth. I might cry during, cry during, during, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland! Woo! Yeah. Those, those two, you weren't going to go by that. Uh, I thought I was going to do that. I thought we changed it. What did we change? We changed the... Uh, uh... Okay, that's where I got confused. Okay, we got different song. From the top. Song, right? oh, the song From the top. I think the easiest part has already been done, which is writing the album. A lot of bands get to this point and they just don't do anything with it. I think 
we have to promote this, promote the shit out of this thing, get it out there to as many people as we can. Um, that's going to make or break the album right there. It's going to be, it's already a good album. You just have to get it in the right hands. We've been hiding pretty much in the basement for a year. So once the album comes out, I'm just really looking forward to, you know, just playing it live and just, just seeing the reaction of the crowds, man. And that's getting on stage again is, is going to be big. I think after this album is released, if we uh, do everything appropriately, it'll get us to um, a more respected level and obviously play bigger shows just to bring us up to the next level. Not necessarily that this album's going to take us to the top. would be great, but, you know. <laughs>